Fortunately, graduation day for these recruits at Kabul's military training center is still a few weeks away, as their marching needs a little work. But precision on the parade ground is less important than precision on the battlefield. To fight the Taliban alongside the U.S. Army, these soldiers will need to know how to read maps and how to use modern weapons with discipline and accuracy. The Afghan recruits get intensive but very basic training. The whole course lasts just 10 weeks. That's because everyone's in a real hurry. Both the U.S. and the Afghan governments think that the size of this army will have to double before it's in any position to provide security for the country. But a bigger army is not necessarily a more committed one. Some of the recruits have fought with the Taliban in the past, but have decided regular soldiering pays better, up to $200 a month. Others have personal scores to settle. Some are actually here because the Taliban have, have killed their family. Uh, they continue to terrorize their villages, uh, and they're here to seek retribution. In parts of Afghanistan where there aren't yet enough soldiers, the police are on the front lines. But as this insurgent video shows, the Taliban often win. Here, they're driving away in the captured police trucks. Afghanistan's army, better trained and equipped, will soon take the lead across the country in providing security. It's a task that will take every ounce of energy and enthusiasm these young men can muster. Elizabeth Palmer, CBS News, Kabul.